It's week 65 of Zerus, so we're going to show you guys his location, his inventory, as well as give you guys my recommendations for this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, it is week 65 reserve, but before we get into the video, if you haven't already entered into the Destiny 2 Forsaken Annual Pass giveaway for January 2019, then click on a link in the description box below for your chance to win. So, Zer is located in the Tower, or I'm sorry, the Traveler, I don't know why they call it, and he's in the Hangar, in this area somewhere-ish. So let's go find out what he has this week. Zer, what's up dude? Look at my dance moves, man. Look at my dance moves. So, like always, we're going to go ahead and start with the left-hand side. We have the Soros Regime, which is an exotic auto rifle. Then we have the ACDO Feedback Fence for the Titan. Then we have the Crown of Tempest for the Warlock. And last but not least, the Ophidian Sapath for the Hunter. We're going to go ahead and start with uh, the ACD Zero Feedback Fence. In terms of perk on this is Fury Conductors, which melee kills restore explosive defensive energy. Then we have Fusion Rifle Loader, Hand Cannon Loader, Impact Induction, Sniper Rifle Scavenger, as well as Machine Gun Scavenger. Now, these actually do have an ornament called Endless Loop, and it looks pretty badass, but unfortunately, since I'm on my Hunter, you can't really see it. So, this exotic is pretty good in PvP. I definitely see a lot of people still using it on their Titan class, no matter what subclass they are. So I'm definitely going to have to give it a, most likely a, probably a tier 2 in PvE as well as PvP. Because it's definitely good in both. Next is the Crown of Tempest. The treasure perk on this is uh, Conduction Tines, which Arc Ability kills Restore Arc Abilities. Then we have Fusion Rifle Targeting, Hand Cannon Targeting, Hands On. Uh, sniper Rifle Reserves, as well as Machine Gun Reserves. And this actually has a uh, ornament called Crown Jewels. Looks pretty good as well. Same reason why I can't see that is this. So, this is actually still a good exotic for your Stormcaller. If you guys don't have this, still, I would definitely get it. It is definitely a Tier 2 in PvE as well as PvP. And last but not least, we have the Ophidia Sapath for the Hunter. Trends perk on this is Scissor Fingers, which grants two knives per charge. Then we have Unflinching Bow Aim, Unflinching Fusion Rifle Aim, Unflinching Kinetic Aim, uh, Scout Rifle Reserves, as well as uh, Special Ammo Finder. Now, this is an okay exotic, but it definitely is not top tier. So I'm probably going to give this maybe a tier 3 in PvP, maybe even a 3.5. And... It's a decent exotic in PvE, so I'd probably just get a 2.5 to tier 3. Next, we have your consumables, which is your Five of Swords. And last but not least, we have your Faded Engram. As you can see, I am Destiny Broke. I only have 30 Legendary Shards, because as soon as uh, the Black Armory came out, I've been upgrading a lot of stuff. Jesus. But uh, unfortunately, still no Forsaken exotics in Faded Engrams. So, yeah, it kind of sucks. Also, Soros Regime, definitely a good exotic. Uh, we have uh, Soros Legacy for the Intrinsic Perk, which the bottom half of each magazine deals bonus damage and has a chance to return health on a kill. Then we have Hammer Forge Rifling, Tactical Mag, Spinning Up, Dual Speed Receiver, as well as Hand Laid Stock. And this actually has a couple of them, uh, a couple of ornaments. We have uh, Coup de Main. And that's what it looks like. Pretty much looks a little bit like the original Soros. And then we have uh, Gray Nitrate. Looks pretty cool. However, there's actually a third ornament for it that actually just came out um, when Season 5 started. And it looks pretty badass. I don't have it. But when I do get it, I definitely will uh, go ahead and look at it. Well, show you guys because it actually looks pretty chrome. Actually, I lied. I just figured I'd come to test and show you it anyways. It is called Soros Chrome. And I will say, it does look pretty badass. And that, my friend, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know. You just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more. Because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.